So when something has significance and import and meaning, then it begins to affect the heart. And that's why even the remnants of the beloved, Qifa Nabki, Midikri Habibin wa Manziri, this is the Jahali motif of Naseeb in the Jahali poetry, is to, Imr al Qais begins his Mu'allaqa by just saying, Stop, my two friends. Let's look here at where the beloved used to be. Just to look, nibki, and weep over the traces of the beloved. Just to look. These are jahili people. These aren't. This isn't. Uh, these are just people that knew what love was, because jahili Arabs had a, a deep and profound knowledge of hub. They really knew what love was, and they were very intense in their love. They had intense love. But that's one of the motifs of just buka al atlal, just weeping over places where the beloved used to be. Amuru bdiari diar alayla, uqabru dal jidar wa dal jidar. Wa ma hub al jidari shagafna qalbi. What I can hub man sakna diara. I I pass by the houses of Layla, and and kiss the walls of the houses. It's just so beautiful. You know, kiss the walls of the houses. But it's it's not the walls that uh, have enraptured my heart. But love of the one that lives between those walls. That's why people come to Mecca and Medina. It's not the stones. You know, when you go to the tomb of the Prophet it's, it's not the wajiha. But the wajiha is amazing. And you could just stare at it and stare at it, look at it, even though you're not even supposed to, out of adab. But to look at the picture, you can look at a picture of the wajiha for a long time and, and not grow tired of it. But it, it's just metal. It's a grate that somebody built. But it's what it's it's what's beyond that metal. It's what it represents. And that's what all this is in the end of the day. That's all this. These are walls that are hiding the eternal and living God. That's what the world is. That's why when you when you begin to understand that. That's what you love about the world. Not the dunya, the alam. The alam, Rabbul Alameen, Lord of all the worlds. The alam is, the Arabs call that ismu ala. It's, it's a noun of instrument. And alam is the instrument of ilm. It's the instrument by which you know something. And, the, and what you know it from the world is the alim. It's, 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 it's God's vehicle for giving us knowledge. And that's why things are so important. That, that's why things, things, ashia, you know, things are important. Possessions are important. That's why property is, is one of the essential imp, imp reasons why we were given sharia is to protect property because things are important, because things have meaning. The Prophet named all of his things. He didn't have many things, but the things that he had, he named them. He gave them names because they had meaning. And that's what the world is. It's meaning. It's meaning everywhere. The whole thing is meaning. It's ma'na. إِنَّمَا الْكَوْنُ مَعَانٍ قَائِمَةٌ بِالصُّوَرِ كُلُّ مَنْ يُدْرِكُ هَذَا كَانَ مَنْ أَهْلَ الْعِبَرِ Like the poet said, this whole cosmos is meanings set up in images. And whoever understands that is from the people of discernment, the people of ibr, the people of fa'tabiru ya ulil abasar. Think deeply. Give this ibra. Give this. And then the ibra leads to abra. That's where the tears come. You know, they've come from perception of meaning. 
you know, to really know what something means. It's just, it's an amazing thing to know what something means. You know, it's, it's a great gift that God gave to human beings. Alama Adam al Asma, he taught man, he taught Adam the names, the ability to create meaning, to give meaning to things. Because the meaning is a transference, it's, it's a movement from something to another thing. So a name is a great meaning. If I say tree and suddenly in your mind an image of a tree comes, that's meaning. That's, that is meaning. And that's why the more that you know about the Prophet them, the more powerful those meanings penetrate your heart when you understand his import what he means, the ma'na, the meaning of the Prophet, what he means, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu said, لا يؤمن أحدكم uh, He said, من حسن إسلام المرئي تركه ما لا يعنيه From the beautiful Islam of a person is to leave what has no meaning for him. What has no meaning for him. Ma la yanihi. It doesn't have ma'na for him. Like gossip. What, what does that mean? If you uh, know about so and so and such and such getting a divorce, how does that affect you? What's the meaning for you? So meaning is that's what this whole thing is about. And that's what that's what the gift of this religion is. It, it gives meaning. That people, you know, the, the non-Muslim, uh, like some of the atheist people, not Christians, because Christians believe in meaning also. But some of the atheists, they say, oh, religion is just a way for people to find meaning. Exactly. We totally agree with you. <laughs> really, we agree with you. Because they say this is all meaningless. But we don't believe that. Because we know and experience and taste meaning. And we know that it's real. It's real. All this other stuff is not real. But meaning is real. That is what's real about the world. And the greatest meaning, the highest ma'na in the world is the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So inshallah... We'll get to look at uh, at at the uh, at some of those meanings, inshallah, in the text. Um, Sheikh Abdullah bin Bayya is is going to uh, to come later and give a talk, and his uh, to translate for him is like it, it, it's like um, you know those, those guys that do the uh, jackhammers. If you've ever done jackhammer for two minutes, yeah, they do it all day. The, Translating for Sheikh Abdullah bin Bayyat is like jackhammer of meaning impinging on, on my brain. So I'm going to save my brain a little bit for, for that. So, but inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this a blessed trip for all of you. May it be a trip of Im- immense meaning. May it be meaningful for you. And uh, may it draw you nearer, all of us, nearer to Allah and His Messenger. And may our hearts be open to meanings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts to, to the meaning of why we're here and what we should be doing and renew it in our hearts, inshallah, and give us more himma to do that, inshallah. Subhana rabbika rabbil azati amma yasifun wa salamun ala muslim wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.